Today is Wednesday. It's August 2nd, 2017, and this is Wayne Gold's World Television. Hello, good morning. Hope you're doing well today, and it's going to be another beautiful day across the Wayne County area. Right now, we're at 62 degrees, you see, uh, as uh, take a look at the uh, current conditions. We have fair skies, 62, and you can see in the background here, go back to that. Okay, there's the uh, City of Goldsboro Water Tower there in the background. And you can see, beginning to see some sunshine make its presence known across the Wayne County area there. So with that sunshine this morning, we're going to have a little warming period here today. And it's going to be increasingly warmer through the week, as I mentioned early part of the week. However, over the weekend, which is the extended forecast, and I won't get into that, but over the weekend, we may have a little bit of weather. So we'll, we'll no, not, the, not that storm, that uh, depression, that uh, low depression uh, down in Florida is going away from us. It's not going to have any effect on our weather. It may create some currents around the coastal area, but uh, for Wayne County, it's not going to have any effect on us at all. So right now, we're at 62 degrees, as you can see around the area, fair skies, and 62 right now reported at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. And continuing with the forecast, we see today mostly sunny skies again, a high near 89. So we're getting up a little warmer today. Uh, winds will be, uh, uh, will be becoming out of the northeast later on. They're calm right now, later on this morning, uh, or this afternoon rather to be uh, calming winds and 89 the high uh, under mostly sunny skies um, and the winds won't get up to about five miles an hour so that's not even a breeze you don't even want to talk about that anyway tonight we see partly cloudy skies a low near 65 this evening winds will be light and variable overnight uh, tomorrow we see uh, again mostly sunny skies we're going to reach on up to about 90 for Wayne County tomorrow we'll hit 90 tomorrow and winds will be coming southerly later on in the afternoon around six miles an hour okay Toward the weekend, well, let's see. Toward the weekend, we may have at some point over the weekend, somebody may get some rain. Not everybody, but somebody just may get some rain, all right? All right, go back to where we started. Now, what's special about today? August the 2nd, 2017. Today is National Coloring Book Day. Oh, boy. Okay. And in fact, if you're 60 and above and if you belong to the Senior Center, you know they have the inliners. That's right, the inliners out there, and that's always a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. Uh, National Coloring Book Day is today. Take a penny, leave a penny day. Well, either take a penny or leave a penny. Uh, today is also uh, take a penny or leave a penny. Didn't I say that already? Yeah, I guess I did. Let's see, here's today's trivia question. Postage is the trivia question category for today. Postage stamps, to be particularly specific. <laughs> Postage stamps. What was the first country in the entire world to issue postage stamps? You had to pay to send a letter. Of course, sending a letter, of course you had to pay. But what was the first country to do that? The first country to do that. It was not the United States. I'll get that out of the way, all right? Now, you only have about 200 others to pick from. Of course, at that time, there weren't 200. But, beside the point, what was the first country to issue Here's a clue. They have never had the name of the country on this particular postage stamp. And it's the only one in the world today that does not include the name of the country on the postage stamp. What was the country? Okay. Okay. Friday, August 4th. Two things. Number one, go get your school supplies and stuff the bus. Take your school supplies over to the Goldsboro News Argus on Berkeley Boulevard. And you can stuff the bus, the Stuff the Bus campaign for communities supporting schools in Wayne County. Uh, you can drop off your school supplies and donations at the News Argus parking lot and put them inside the bus there. They're partnering with communities in, uh, communities supporting schools of Wayne County, the News Argus is. And there you go. Way to go. And Dennis Hill, we're going to miss you. Yeah, he's retiring. And uh, Dennis Hill, the editor over there at the, uh, the newspaper, he's done a great job for the newspaper. I've known Dennis a long time. He's a good guy. Okay, what else do we have here? Well, there's going to be a summer bash. That's coming up. Oh, yeah, I forgot the second thing. I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, summer bash uh, coming up next Tuesday, August 8th. Uh, this will benefit, again, community supporting schools of Wayne County. This summer bash is if, if you donate a backpack or five school supplies items, five school items to community supporting schools, the Summer Bash, you will receive a free Chick-fil-A sandwich. 
Woohoo! So donate a backpack or five school items to community supporting schools. You can uh, join everybody for food, activities, and crafts on the lawn, I guess, at Chick-fil-A on August 8th from 5 until 7 p.m. 5 till 7 p.m. The second item I wanted to mention to you about, about August 4th is the, the Purple, Heart, Purple Heart Banquet being held at, at Pentecostal Holiness Church on Wayne Memorial Drive. That, uh, that's, a, that's a major event. There's, there's no tickets available. It's all sold out as we knew it would. This is a major event for Wayne County. We're honoring those who are Purple Heart recipients, past and present of Wayne, from Wayne County. And uh, just to let you know what's going on, if you see all those cars parked out there that night, that's what's going on. That's uh, this, this coming Friday evening. And uh, they've asked me again to be a part of this program, and it is an absolute honor. It is an honor to be a part of this program, and I thank you very much for that. The walking trail at Wayne Community College is, uh, again, it's temporarily closed for a couple of weeks uh, while there's uh, construction going on in the area. Um, there is... Uh, tape put up around the the uh, the athletic facilities the tennis courts and the softball field that will guide you through if you walk or run in that on that track okay it hasn't been closed but it's just been rerouted so follow the tape you know just do the right thing be careful out there all right all right all right speaking of football uh, the uh, Goldsboro semi-pro football team the Goldsboro Hawks have their next meeting coming up on August 12th at Herman Park. And if you're interested in getting information about this, just go to the meeting. August 12th from 3 until 5 p.m. at Herman Park. And if you need to know something beforehand, here's a number for you. The area code is 843-843. The number is 532-7102. 7102 Okay? All right, that's the phone number. Again, that area code, sure, it's 843-843-532-7102. Uh, now, yes, coming up on the 8th, okay, coming up today also at the Mount Olive Public, uh, Gold, Wayne County Public Library, Mount Olive Branch, going to be, uh, it's a program for teens, Teens Get Fit. M making healthy snacks and learning uh, fun exercises uh, as the guest speaker teaches how to stay healthy this summer. It's for teenagers. It's today from 3 until 4 p.m. at Steele Memorial Library in Mount Olive. Okay, going bananas. <laughs> oh, yeah, going bananas. <laughs> uh, young People's Own Theater having going bananas. That's uh, Friday, August 4th, this Friday at 7 p.m. at the Paramount Theater. Performance from Campers in Stars 2 at Stage Struck, a young people's home theater. At Paramount Theater this Friday, 7 p.m. Don't forget the big eclipse that's been talked about ad nauseum. We're, the total eclipse will not cover Wayne County. Uh, we will not see the entire eclipse. We'll see all but a sliver of the eclipse, that, and that sliver will be on the top side of the sun. That's on August 21st. If you want to see a total eclipse, then you have to either go to uh, Murphy up in the mountains or the Great Smokies, and the tickets are sold out. for the, You can't get in the Smokies without a ticket on that particular day. Or Franklin or Silva or somewhere up in that area. There's a little community called Guy. That would be a, that would be a place that you could go. So if you, if you don't have a ticket to get into the Smokies, there's all kinds of places you can go. Now, the, the path of this thing is only 72 miles wide. So that's one part. That's one place you can go. There's a closer. I think Charleston is closer, isn't it? Charleston, South Carolina, it will also be a full, and anywhere between Murphy and Charleston, because it's, it's first going to hit the U.S. of A. in Oregon. And in Oregon, it'll come across the country and exit the U.S. at Charleston. So Charleston would be a good place. That would be my choice to go. I know it's out of state, but that would still be my choice. It may be a little bit closer there uh, to go to if you want to, if you really want to see the total eclipse. Otherwise, you can see a partial eclipse here, probably about 99%, but not totally total. Not totally total. Okay. Coming up on the 18th of August, we have our, uh, the, the campaign kickoff for United Way of Wayne County. United Wayne kickoff campaign on August 18th. 
with a show at the Paramount. Tickets are only $15. You will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. There's got, we got singing, all kinds of great singing. We got kind of great dancing. We've got great, well, we got comedy. It's kind of so-so. But anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, we got a lot of comedy. There's so much comedy in this thing. There is. It's, it's, we got a st we got uh, cousin Brossy will be there with his uh, um, down home humor. We've got Thomas Vick, piano picker extraordinaire. We've got uh, who else? We got we got the Bullard family out of Faison. We got the Jazz and Saints, the Jazz and Saints out of Southern Wayne High School. Dr. Glenn Phillips, Pastor Phillips will be performing as well. We've got uh, Courtney Smith, Miss Goldsboro. We've got the Hitman coming back for a return uh, visit. Very popular group, uh, a cappella group, yeah. Uh, the DFC dancers will be performing, so will Margot Smith will sing her little heart out there. Uh, and the Bluegrass Jam, of course, that's the Casey's. And uh, that's um, uh, Samantha will be there, Adam and Daniel, all three will be there. And we added one more, and that will be Riley Stewart will be singing. Riley Stewart will be singing as well. And DJ Coles. DJ Coles with Warrior Avenue and the Voices of Praise. Various Voices of Praise will be there as well. Gee whiz, time just goes right on by. Done. Anyway, that's coming up on August 18th. A t it's it's going to be a great night. I hope you're able to go. A lot of uh, fun. A lot of fantastic entertainment. And there'll be, of course, the Foolers from the April Fool's program last year. That would be Carol Bowden. Jeff Holtz, Kirk Keller, Julie Beck, who's out of town right now. She's out of the country, in fact, but she'll be back in time for this. Uh, Cousin Brossy will be part of this, and uh, so will I. I'm the only serious one of the bunch. <laughs> he is. Well, I am. Okay. The answer to today's trivia question. The question was, what's the first nation in the world, the first country in the world, to issue postage stamps? Well, the year was 1680. That goes back a ways. And the country... Is, which to this day is the only country in the world does not put the name of their country on their postage stamp is the United Kingdom, England, Great Britain, if you will. The UK does not put the name on, of the country on the stamp. They were the first to issue stamps. 1680 was the year. Actually, it was a hand stamp back then, but historians do say that is a stamp. Okay? And then later somebody added the stamp on a separate piece of paper to, uh, like that. What do you mean I can't do that on TV? Eh? Do it again. Ah. So we gotta go. We'll do this again tomorrow bright and early in the morning about 7 o'clock. Have a great day. Please drive carefully. Always wear your seatbelt. And for Bria McCoy, for Pat Garner, I'm Wayne Alley. And this is Wayne Goldsboro Television.